Module 5, Lesson 5, Homework. Number 1, Johnny filled a container with 30 centimeter cubes. Shade the beaker to show how much water the container will hold. So 30 centimeter cubes, that's saying if he filled the container with it, that's saying that the volume is 30. So we're just going to shade the volume to 30. So right there in between 20 and 40. So that would be how much water the container could hold. Explain how we know. Um, so kind of like what I just said, well, we could say that um, filling the container means the volume is 30 centimeters cubed, or you could also say something about it being centimeters cubed, and cubes are used to fill something up and show volume. Um, so that's why we shade it to that point. Number two, a beaker contains 250 milliliters of water. Jack wants to pour the water into a container that will hold the water. Which of the containers pictured below could he use? Explain your choices. So he wants to fill it with 250 milliliters of water or 250 centimeters cubed if we're talking about uh, these rectangular prisms. So we're looking for anything that's 250 centimeters cubed or bigger, right, so, or more. Um, because it, it, he just wants something that it will hold the water. So it could be 250 or it could be bigger. It can't be any smaller or it, it will all spill over. So let's look at A. We have 12 by 12, which is 144 times 6. Now I already know 144 times 6 is going to be much bigger than 250, so A we could use. Um, if we want to actually multiply it out, we could for our explanation. 6 times 4 is 24, carry the 2. 6 times 4 is 24, plus 2 is 26. And 6 times 1 is 6, plus 2 is 8. So it's going to fit 864 centimeters cubed, and it's all one too many humps, centimeters cubed, and so it will fit. Let's go on to B. Uh, we have the area of this, or the, or the length times the width, they've already done that for us, so 20 times 12. 20 times 12 is equal to 240. So that would be too small because 250 milliliters is what we need. This will only fit 240. Let's look at C. Let's see. 25 times 2 equals 50 and 50 times 5 is 250. So this will fit exactly. Let's pick C. How about E? E, we have the area or the length times width is 75, or 75 times 3. That would be equal to 225. So this is too small because the 250 won't fit into the 225. And the last one. All we are given here is 3 times 5, which is 15. We don't even have a height, so we don't know. So all that is going to work is A and C. Number 3. On the back of this paper, describe the details of the activities you did in class today. Include what you learned about cubic centimeters and milliliters. Give an example of a problem you solved with an illustration. So this one you're on your own, because I obviously have no idea what you guys did in class today. So do your best. Try and think of something that you learned today and write it on the back.